Hi, in this video we will see how to use the events in the SAP LV reports. So we will see the four events that is the uh, initialization, then the add selection screen, add selection screen output and the add selection screen on value request for. So the initial events, this is the first events as soon as the program is loaded. So these events get triggered and it is generally used for putting the default value on the screen. Second is the add selection screen. This is called as the process after input model and this is generally used for the validation purpose. Third, you will see the add selection screen output. This is called as the PPO events, which is get triggered before the system display the screen. And this is used to change the screen pa parameters. Like you can uh, make some fields in the display mode or we can change the properties, values of the screen fields using this event add selection screen on value, value request for this is generally used for providing the f4 help to some internal table or to some other concept for the screen fields so we'll see the one by one of those <coughs> top four events in the lv reports so in the first session we have created this report <coughs> the demo underscore pure report so <coughs> first let me add some field on the screen let the field is s underscore er num that is for ekko er num that is the purchase order created by and also let me add three radio buttons on the screen so let's run screen skip so let me add three radio button here what i'm doing I have added three, three radio buttons. One is R underscore all, second is R underscore work order, and third one is R underscore service order. Here I am using the user command because my requirement is as soon as user select any one of the radio button, the system get should get triggered the events. So for that, this must we should assign some command user command to the radio button group. So here the radio button group we are using GRP 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 for all those three this means that you can select any one of the radio button from this group so like this way we have added one field as er num and the radio button now assign some text to that so the er num actually i had already added earlier this is created by and the r underscore all is all and is for service order and it's a work order save and activate go back so first we'll add the event initialization so as i told you this is used for putting the default values on the screen and this event get triggered as soon as the program is loaded this is triggered only one time at the time of loading of program so what we'll do we'll put some default values for the a date so let's say s underscore a date sign equal to i s underscore a date option equal to bt we'll use between because we want to display by default the one year time frame or use s underscore a date low as side data minus 365 days and s underscore a date high put as the default today's date append the select option save check activate execute the program so we can see the default values are coming on the screen so in this way using the initialization model we can put the default values on the screen now we'll see what we'll go for the second event that is called first use the add selection screen output which is generally called as a ppa model process before output before system display the screen these events get triggered at
add selection screen output so this event generally used to modify the screen properties like suppose based on the selection we want to make some field into display mode or we want to put some default values so we can use uh, we can use this event at selection script output this is mostly used to modify to change the properties of the screen that we'll see now let's <coughs> let's see our requirement is if the user select uh, user has selected the already button then this field should be in the visible mode but if user selected the work order then this should be in the display mode with some default values so for that just add some modify id that is dis you can put any name here now go to the add selection screen output what we'll do here we'll put our logic here So if user select the all readable done, don't put any value in the purchase or document type. But if user select work order or if user selected the uh, second radio button work order, put the default value as SXWO and if user selected as a service order, then put the default value as LOC. Also we want to change the screen properties. So loop at screen. End loop. So what we'll do if r underscore all is initial and screen group one equal to dis means user has not selected the all read button. User has selected either work order or service order. Then make this field as display mode. So this modify ID because in this scenario I am modifying only this. Suppose if we have two three fields which you want to put in display mode, then we can use the same modify ID here also. That will see later. So what we want to do? Make the screen input as zero. Modify screen. Save check activate now we'll see what is the result of this execute so by default it's selecting okay so what happened here in the initialization block if r underscore all is initial and r underscore work is initial and r underscore so is initial if all three relative buttons are initial then make r underscore or as equal to x so what we're doing as soon as the program gets loaded we are putting this value to x now execute now you can see this departure sort of document type is in the input mode as soon as select the work order you can see this is gray out we user cannot change this value and the default value is here as sxwo as soon as selected a service order so you can see the value here is zloc and this is in the gray out mode okay now select the all so you can see that it is blank and user can enter the value so basically the add selection screen output this event is used to change the screen properties we can make the screen feel active inactive okay here as what we have done I just make input as zero and suppose you have a requirement like as soon as this is selected don't display this field okay or okay let's say this field so we want to make this field as inactive okay we, we don't want to display this field here so what we'll do we'll take one more id This is the, take the modified as height.
copy the same here now if the skin group is height what we'll do we'll make active as zero now execute now as soon as the double coder now we can see this is in the display mode but we cannot see the purchase order created by because that we are set as inactive select this select this as soon as select this this field is appear here select options so in this way we can implement the add selection skin output to <coughs> change the skin properties now next we'll see this is also called as a pbo module process before output pbo the third one which we'll see that is the add selection skin <coughs> this is basically used for the validation purpose <coughs> suppose you want to check whether user is uh, user is exist or not any kind of validation we can put in this block so for testing purpose what we'll do we'll just check if s underscore er num low is initial if the created by is initial give the error message give the message as enter the created by and the message type will be e <coughs> so we can put we can put any kind of validation in this event check activate execute execute so we can see the error message get triggered enter declared by so in this way we have seen initialization add selection skin output and the add selection skin event now we'll see the fourth one that is the add selection skin on value request for this is used according the f4 help for the field so what we'll do we'll provide f4 help for the screen field purchase order created by so let me add the event here add selection skin on value request for s underscore er num low keep in mind if you're using the select options then we have to add this low and high on which value we want to put the f4 help so what we'll do when user select on er num will provide some default values so for that first create an internal table create a table like this type declaration begin of tp underscore er num add the field as er num declare our internal table as gt underscore er num type is standard table of this type and also the work area and declare one internal table as it underscore return like ddsh rea battle across zero bit header line so first declare do a type declaration then declare one internal table and a work area and one it return table now to put f4 help to an internal table there is a function model in sap called as f4 under f4 if underscore int underscore table underscore value request that is f4 help through an internal table so what we have to do click on pattern in the call function enter this name press enter we can see a lot of parameters here now first we have to give the internal table name okay let me add some default value to the internal table first so what i am doing here first i am adding the different values to the internal table we can also select those value from any table okay but for testing purpose for demo purpose i am adding it manually so let me add one more value as zephyr now this is the internal table gt underscore er num so this table name we need to give here in the value table 
in the return field from this table which field value you want to return so in the current internal table we have only one one field that is er num but in real time scenario you might have multiple values okay multiple columns so here we have to give the field name which we want to return so that is er num in our scenario there is one more field called as value underscore organization uncomment this and put the value as s now this internal table will use the values for the selection but if user select any value that will come in this return table so for this we have declared an internal table as lt underscore that is it underscore return so based on the user selected values the value will come in this table now always open the exceptions otherwise it will give errors in some cases now what you want to do based on the value which is selected that you want to populate in the er num field for that write this small code the it return table this field value we are writing to s underscore er num save check and activate execute the report now as soon as i press f4 on this field you can see the value developer one issues the fur if i double click here that value comes here if i double click here this value comes here so in this way we can use we can implement the search help through internal table for a screen field by making the use of event at selection screen on value request for okay so in this way we have seen four events which are commonly used in the LV reports that are the initialization at selection screen at selection screen output and at selection screen on value request for so in the next session we will see the remaining that is the top of page html top of page user command and pfv status so today you can do the practice of using those events in your day in your program so let me check activate okay so we'll see in the next session the remaining okay so We'll see in the next session. Thank you.